Very much. <laughs> And it's not regulation size. That goal was not regulation size tonight, I'll tell you. Oh, man, the way that uh, the way that Quick can just cover the bottom half of that net so well. Just spread out and get low, right? I mean, that's really the story for tonight's game. I, I don't know how else to put it, right? I think the Leafs played a great game. I think the Leafs uh, got a lot of good chances. They outshot them, right? They were pretty much tied for hits and stuff like that. It was a, they had more puck possession. You know what I mean? They didn't score in any of the power plays, but those power plays did look dangerous at times, you know? And it was just quick, 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 quick. He stole the show, man. And that's, what I mean by that is he literally stole the show because I think that, uh, oh, th yeah, there you go, right? Right, everybody? I think, I think he stole the show from the rest of the Kings. The rest of the Kings played a great game too. You know what I mean? They really did. They they play the kind of game that just gets in Toronto's face. And I don't mean with violence and grit, as you would call it, or anything like that. Like, the systems that the Kings use just seem to be one of those teams that's like, they're built to be the opposite of us. You know what I mean? They're built to be the opposite of how Toronto does it. You know what I mean? If Toronto's good on the on, on the, uh, the the streaking in for the two-on-ones, three-on-twos, odd man rushes and stuff like that, right, Leslie? If the Leafs are built for that, the Kings defense is perfectly balanced to kind of stop that. And then they play an opposite kind of offense to counteract it. Like, I think LA played a really good game. Let's give them a round of applause. You know what I mean? Uh, they certainly deserve to win. But I don't think, I think this is one of those games where if you were to just look at the box score right now, if you're looking at that, that top of the score there, and you saw a 5-1, to one, you'd get a very different idea of what game actually took place, right? So if anyone says like, oh, right? <laughs> Suck it for enough. You know, sometimes, sometimes you get beat bad on the scoreboard, but you didn't get beat bad on the ice. They really didn't. And that's what I'm saying, man. Five to one looks so much worse than four to one. And four to one is what it would have been if they not pulled the goalie with three and a half minutes left. I know, I know they were going to lose anyways. I get it. I get it. But three and a half minutes, man, a, pro a professional hockey team is going to score a goal in that time. It's just better to stay within it, man. You never know. A couple of good bounces could go your way. And the point is... Like, if it doesn't, you're still going for the win. Change your style of play on the ice. Don't pull your goalie, though. He's your safety net. You need to get within a couple, man. I mean, in today's NHL, I don't know why any coach in their right mind would pull their net with any more than a two-goal deficit. What are you thinking? And again, you know, elimination round, playoffs, you're, forcing, you're forced to go home if you lose. I get it. Pull out all the stops. Right? Pull out all the hustle. Hey, I like that flag one. I didn't know we had one of those. Cool. Um... I'm always amazed by the emoticons and stuff like that. Like, eh, the emojis and stuff. <laughs> I'm still so old. Uh, but yeah, they transition really well. I mean, you're saying in the chat there already. Like, I mean, you guys got it. You know what I mean? This is not this is not anything to stress about. I know it's a 5-1 deficit. Uh, but you know, like, we saw what happened. At least we're there the whole, the whole step of the way, right? They didn't play a bad game at all. So, yes, give it up for the goalie skull chat things in there. A little, a little gravestone, RIP for our hopes and dreams tonight. And I really meant it, right? Like the only thing that was lacking from Campbell's game was that he was not quick. Not the, not the adjective, sorry, adverb, not the adverb, right? He literally wasn't quick. Is it? I don't know if it's a noun. Leslie, you're always good at the grammar stuff, man. Is quick a verb or a noun or an adjective? I don't know. The only thing that Campbell couldn't be was quick. Because if he had, we probably would have been within one goal that whole time, you know? Man, the way he spreads out, you guys see that? Like, as soon as quick faces the first shot, wherever the rebound goes, he slides there. He, once he's down, he's not fighting to get back up as quick as possible. He rides it, and he's so efficient in his moves. He's so good from side to side, from back to forward, from corner to corner. He moves around on, on his pad better than a lot of skaters in beer league do on their feet. You know what I mean? That's how good he is on the ice. And when you're that big, you know what I mean? You're covering that bottom two thirds of the net very good, or very well, sorry. And uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's awesome to see. That's why this is one of those games you can just be happy. I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy for a night like tonight, regardless of the score, because LA's back, you know what I mean? San Jose's back, right? We get to see Arizona. Uh, what are we, you know what I mean? LA, everybody, all the West Coast is back, man. You know, all the American teams are back. It was great seeing Boston and Tampa in the building and stuff. Like, 
it's just nice to have the NHL back as, as close to as back as we can get right now. You know, it's it's so much uh, closer to being right back to where we were. Um, it was just fun. It was just a fun game to watch. So, yeah, the score got a little bit out of hand. But you know what? What can you do, right? What can you do? So, a five streak, five game streak. You take a loss. You get on to another three or four game streak. You take a loss. You get a two and then a loss and then another loss and then you get another five and then you get a loss. Like, you know what I mean? As long as you're coming out overall, like every two to two to two to one, right? Hey, Thief is in the house with the chug the bottle as well. I always wonder why it doesn't show up in the chat, but it shows up in my chat. I can see it, obviously, because I need the instruction. Oh, hey. Thanks, everybody. Hey, man, like, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here hanging out, man. Don't be afraid to follow along, man. Don't be afraid to hit that follow while you're here. You know what I mean? You stick around long enough, right? Someone might toss you one of them subs, and then you get one of those pretty little maple leaves beside your name, too. Huh? Then you're looking super sweet in the chat, you know? But that's about it. I mean, that's what I'm going to say for the game. I just want to get into your... <laughs> there we go, Leslie. You know, I... Uh, it's not a hard one to explain. So we're not going to sit here and let me rant about it for too long. All right. Let's get into what you guys are saying. Hey, there you go. I knew it. I knew I could get you, Herbie. I knew I could get you. Uh. <laughs> hey, welcome to the club, man. Tell all your friends about me. All right. I'm Batman in 1989 holding you over the roof right now. Okay. Tell all your friends about me. All right. I know I'm wearing this stuff, but it's because I'm just trying to be obvious about my bias. I don't want to hide it. I'm not a journalist. I'm a Leafs fan, first and foremost. So all my opinions are based on that, okay? But it doesn't mean people from other teams aren't welcome to come around. People that just like all the teams. Uh, people that like football and don't even like hockey. Like, everyone's welcome to come on out, man. Tell everybody. All right? Tell everybody. We're taking over, all right? So let's get into the chat now. I want to read what you guys are saying, all right? I want to really get into it. So, all 